Hello everybody, YouTuber2 here. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I lubricate big cubes. And when I mean big cubes, I'm going to be talking mostly about 5x5, 6x6, 7x7. Also, I have switched back to my uh, normal camera because um, it's just really hard to record with my phone. Uh, and yeah, there's just a lot of things that I didn't really take into account at first, and now they're becoming a problem. So, I'm going to try and get another camera soon, but until then, I think this one is good enough. I will also leave timestamps in the description down below where you can click on what cube you'd like to see quickly lubr lubricated. Let's start off with 5x5. So, what I use for 5x5 is generally Lubix uh, or Isolube. It really doesn't matter what you use. In this method, you only have to take out a few pieces. I usually just take out this section of corner right here. And that's really all you need to take apart. It doesn't involve much effort, as you've seen. That only took me about 5-6 seconds. So, let's take a closer look at how the pieces interact with each other. So this is the edge in the corner, and we can see that all the way down this edge stock, there is contact with the corner, and down here. And I also know that inside the cube, uh, this corner fits underneath this little ridge part in here. It might be a little hard to see. Um, but it fits underneath that, so I'm going to need to loop down the space as well. When I'm looking at this edge in this corner, it would sit in like this. Again, there's that ridge right there, so I'm going to loop down this ridge and a little bit here. This is the centerpiece, and this sits in the cube underneath that ridge like that. So I'm going to be lubricating inside of here. So to show you guys this, I have bumped up the white balance a little bit. Um, just so you can see it just a tiny bit better and we're gonna take our lube and we're gonna get a little bit out and I'm gonna start with the corner because this is gonna be the first piece going in so we're gonna get just a little bit we're just gonna set it on here and then a little bit on the surface and now we are going to put this in our cube and you want to be a little bit careful just to make sure that the lube doesn't get all over your hands so now I'm going to put this edge that goes in here back just to support this corner up. So now I'm going to put back the rest of the side and um, it isn't really necessary for lubrication to lube those. It's just to keep the cube in place. So really the only two pieces we're lubricating are this, the corner which you need to take all those pieces out for, the center and this edge. So now we're going to lubricate this edge as we've known before, there's contact points all the way down here with the corner and all the way down here with the middle edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some lube and put it in here. And you don't have to put much at all. And then just a thin line down here. And I'm going to do the same for this. I'm just going to put a thin line down and a little bit here. And now we are going to put this back inside our cube. And this is the center, and we're just going to put a little bit down here and all around. And then I'm just going to put just a tiny bit on the surfaces because it makes contact with pretty much every piece in the cube. And then we're just going to stick that back in, and we're going to zoom out. And that's pretty much all I do to lube my cube. It's going to be a little gummy at first, but I release on that one side. And once you start turning the cube, it's going to start feeling quite a bit better. Now let's go on to lubing a 6x6. I use Maru Lube for a 6x6, but you may not have that, so I'm going to use Lubix and Maru. So basically for Lubix, I don't take out any pieces. What I do is I put the nozzle in here, and I'm going to count to two inside my head while squeezing pretty hard. One, two. And now I'm going to go in here and just jam it in, and it kind of makes an opening. Uh, there's no real um, total method for this, and I'm going to squeeze one, two, and then I'm going to go to the other side, and I'm going to do the same thing. One, two, and then right here. One, two. And now we're going to break it in. So for Maru Lube, which is what I have here, what we're going to do is we're going to counter cut two pieces and it makes this little gap and we're going to drop one, two and we're going to corner cut three layers 
and we're gonna drop some by the screw head. One, two. Now we're gonna turn this very slowly because Marlou is watery and it gets all over the place if you turn it too fast. So I can already feel it kind of coming out, so we're just gonna turn this quite slow and then you can start turning it faster because it'll start breaking, working around all the cube and it starts to turn great. So that is how I'd usually lube my 6x6. 7x7, we are going to be using pretty much the same method. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two pieces out and I know that these two interact with each other and this interacts with the corner and this interacts with the middle edge and I'm just gonna put some in here because these two pieces kind of fall out and now yeah, I'll just get around the rest of the cube and now we're gonna do this piece and this is the inner part so we want to do its interaction with the second edge and the middle edge and then we're just gonna drop that in the cube and since we've already done the interaction with this part of the edge we are going to do the interaction with the corner so you really don't need much at all so now we're gonna work this in and I can already feel that um, it's turning quite a bit better so thanks for watching this video this is how I really quickly lube my cubes because I don't like to spend a ton of time especially with a big cube um, so I hope this video helped you. If, if this hel did help you, go ahead and click like. You can also leave any questions or comments asking uh, about how I do things or about the cubes. If you haven't done so already, you can subscribe to be notified of future videos below. And have a great day. Bye.